Crusader. He is in the news now because of his efforts to build a hotel in Moscow with Donald Trump. But that's just one piece of an amazing story. After being convicted of a felony assault for slashing a man's face in a bar fight, Sater began a secret life, working behind the scenes with U.S. intelligence agencies and investigators to take on al-Qaeda, Russian cybercrime, North Korean nukes. He even helped stop assassination plots targeting Colin Powell and President Bush. The range of things that you were involved in is staggering. Mafia here in the United States. Yes. You, Al-Qaeda. Yes. You gave her the phone numbers of Osama bin Laden? Yes. FBI agents and federal prosecutors who work directly with Sater confirm his service on mob-related and national security cases. And former Attorney General Loretta Lynch testified that he provided information crucial to national security. You work for as the Defense Intelligence Agency? Yes. You also worked for the CIA? Yes. You were an FBI informant? Uh, I um, was never an informant. I was a confidential source. I'm trying to tick through in my head the, your potential enemies. Al-Qaeda, Cosa Nostra, Russian mob, Russian criminals, North Koreans. Aren't you scared? I've been scared every day of my life, but courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is conquering it. Ironically, Sater's government work also connects him to key figures in the Mueller investigation. Top Mueller deputy Andrew Weissman supervised Sater's cooperation after a 1998 plea deal. And Mueller himself was head of the FBI during the time Sater helped the government. Now Sater has talked to Mueller's team because of his business dealings with Donald Trump. I'm a businessman. In fact, I was working on a bunch of uh, real estate transactions, real estate deals to try to build some beautiful buildings with Donald Trump, of all people. Back starting in 1996? Uh, real estate, I believe I started in 99. Donald Trump has claimed he doesn't really recall Sater, saying in a 2013 deposition he couldn't even say what Sater looked like. If he were sitting in the room right now, I, I really wouldn't know what he looked like. This is your business card then? This is my business card. That's your business card. He said he doesn't know who you are. Is he telling the truth? I'm sorry, I can't speak for the president. You worked for him, with him for many years? Yes. Spoke with him, what, dozens of times, hundreds of times? Yes. You say you can't speak for him, but what does it feel like when, the, when after all that, Donald Trump says, I don't think I could pick him out in a room? Disappointing. In fact, Sater says they were once so close that in 2006, Trump asked him to look after Don Jr. and Ivanka while they were in Moscow. He even arranged for a private tour of President Putin's office in the Kremlin. And as we pass an office, the security uh, guard, or the, I guess it was part of like the equivalent of their secret service, says, that's the boss's office. Uh, and he opens the door just to show it, sort of take a look through the door, but don't go inside. And Ivanka said, do you think I could sit behind the chair? And he looked at me, he says, uh, okay, go ahead. I guess I convinced him. And she sat down behind the desk, spun twice in the chair, was very happy about it. Ivanka Trump told the New York Times she did not recall this incident, but the deal now eyed by the special counsel is the one that didn't close Trump Tower Moscow. I approached Michael Cohen about the opportunity. He was very excited. Very Donald cool. Trump signed the letter of intent. And you've known Michael Cohen for a long time. We've known each other since we were teenagers. Some of the emails that you wrote to him about this project were made public, published in the New York Times. One of them said, I will get Putin on this program and we will get Donald elected. Buddy, our boy can become president of the USA and we can engineer it. I will get all of Putin's team to buy in on this. What did you mean by that? Two guys that know each other since teenage years being beyond giddy that somebody that they knew and worked for was running for president, trying to do a deal in Russia. And clearly, if the deal had gone a little further, and I wished it would have, I would have gotten on the phone, I would have made phone calls, I would have gotten to people who know Putin to try to get his blessing and bring him on board and hopefully to get help him done. elect Donald Trump. I was trying to do a real estate transaction. I clearly was not involved in the campaign, nor was I involved in any of the political end. The Times also wrote that you that you wrote you were eager to show video clips to your Russian contacts of instances of Trump praising Russia and would coordinate for Putin to praise Trump's business acumen. Quote, if we says it, we own this election. Yes, I wrote that. A lot of people have been wondering, is one of the reasons that President Trump was so easy on President Putin during the campaign is because he was looking to make this deal happen in Moscow? I can't speak for the president. 
I know that as a real estate developer, which is uh, by its very nature, three parts optimist, one part realist, um, to try to get a deal that is the tallest building in the world or the tallest building in Europe, you have to get buy-in from everyone. So when you're doing all this, were you aware at all of the Russian efforts to interfere in our presidential campaign? I was not aware of um, what they were doing. Most of it came out after the election, and I read about it just like everyone else in the newspapers. I certainly would never, in any way, shape, or form, work with people who are our geopolitical opponents to the detriment of our country. Do you think that anyone in Trump's orbit was working with those people? I certainly hope not, but I do not know. You have spoken to Mueller's team, correct? I'm sorry, I can't answer something to do with any active investigations. If at the end of this investigation we discover that associates of President Trump were actually working with the Russians as they were interfering in our election, what would be your reaction? Send him to jail. It's just incredible how much in the middle of, of this uh, Felix Sater is. I mean, he worked with Andrew Weissman. He, Robert Mueller was the head of the FBI, obviously knows Donald Trump and Michael Cohen. And there's no question now that Mueller is looking at this Moscow Tower deal. And to hear him say that, the, oh, the president say that he doesn't know who he is, even though he, Sater, says that they may have been together dozens or hundreds of times. Going back 20 years. Wow. It's really something.